Thanks for tuning in. This week we saddle up and head out to that mecca of motorcycling, Daytona Beach, Florida. During Bike Week and Biketoberfest, this area draws tens of thousands of bikers looking for fun and sun, and Daytona never lets them down. On this episode of Born to Ride, we of course visit Main Street to check out who's who and to ogle at some of the most beautiful and unique motorcycles in the world. But the hustle and bustle of Daytona Beach isn't all there is, as we take you on a cruise on one of Florida's most scenic byways, the Ormond Beach Loop Road. Under a canopy of live oaks and surrounded by lush tropical jungles, this is one ride you'll never forget. And then we are proud to bring you an interview with the late, great custom chopper master builder, Indian Larry. Filmed six months before his death, Larry gives Born to Ride viewers an intimate look at his machines, his famous tattoos, and an in-depth expression on his philosophy of life. Indian Larry was catapulted to fame by being true to himself, and we are honored to bring you this piece of motorcycle history. So stay tuned. All this and more is headed your way right now, right here, only on Born to Ride. Hey, this is Indy Larry from New York City, and we're down here in Daytona Beach, March for Bike Week, and you're watching Born to Ride TV. newsletter sign up at borntoride.com and get on our mailing list today find us on facebook born to ride tv and magazine the ultimate multimedia biker experience I'm Indy and Larry in Daytona, and uh, I don't know what's going on in Daytona. They got me working too hard over here at the spot with the fans and everything, you know, doing the autographs and the pictures, so I'm not really sure what's going on. I've always been a motorcycle superstar, except I was the only one that knew it. 
so it really doesn't feel much different to me. I'm just, uh, I'm just a, a regular chopper guy. I'm just a biker. I'm no different than uh, anybody else, really. I mean, in my opinion, everybody's a superstar in their own realm. Some of the changes in the motorcycling now, it seems like it'd be a big advent in the custom bike. A lot of what people are calling choppers now are not choppers, in my opinion. They're custom bikes. I really build choppers. That's what I like to build, like straight up choppers. Not saying there's anything wrong with the custom bikes. Um, it's just not what I do. I'm all about the motor, all about the performance, all about the speed and the handling of the bike. And uh, also I'm about elevating uh, the, actually the art. I, I, was a, I was a man that coined the term motorcycle artist in the industry. No one was using that term before I, I coined it years ago. But I think it's all great for the industry. I, I personally think the whole world should be filled with motorcyclists. And I think uh, everybody would get along a whole lot better. What I tell everybody what they should do, not only with motorcycles, but in life, find out what you like to do, what you love to do, and pursue that with all the passion you can and as hard as you can, and your success and your money and your fame, if you want it, will follow. Most of the ideas I have for bike building are already in my head. I don't know where that comes from, whether it would be uh, you know, like God-given talent or uh, demonic possession. I don't know where they come from. I just have tons of ideas and I just keep building and I, I don't even really try to build anything so radical. I just try to keep refining it to get to the ultimate perfect motorcycle. I'm really on the quest for uh, the holy grail, so to speak, for the perfect motorcycle, the perfect day, the perfect bike, the perfect ride. So uh, that, that's what I'm after. Yeah, the bike that I built for the last uh, Discovery episode with Billy Lane, the one where I won the 2003 Discovery Bike Building Championship, I believe that's right behind us. That's this bike right here behind us. And uh, yeah, I had a lot of help on that bike. I mean, my painter, my seat maker, Paul Cox, my painter, Robert Padre from Custom Auto Design, uh, my whole entire team, Kino, everybody uh, put their heart into that bike. We built that bike in 20 days which was a, a, a tremendous feat. Any real builder will tell you that's a feat. And yeah, it's, it's beyond passion. It's an obsession building these bikes. And, and I tell people, it's not what I do, it's what I am. I have no choice. This is really uh, a burning obsession. It's what I do, and I'm gonna continue to do this uh, until I can't do it anymore, actually. The change in motorcycling, I mean, I, I love the acceptance. I mean, as you, as you said, we will be thrown out of restaurants. We will be not accepted. It was always looked on like, you were a bad guy, and in some incidences, incidents, uh, we were bad guys, but um, not in general. Everybody was pretty, there's much more understanding of the whole bike thing right now. And um, I love it. I love the acceptance. I love to be able to, to make the money and, and to make it so that everybody in my crew actually profits from it. And, uh, you know, and I'm not done yet. I don't believe I've reached my peak or uh, the fame. I'm just going to pursue my goal and my dream as hard as I possibly can and not so much for myself because I basically have everything I want out of life um, it's just mostly for my crew I want everybody to 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 share in the success and get really to to, to, to be able to fulfill their dreams and uh, you know my wife my whole crew um, you know I, I just want everybody to be happy <laughs> You know, I'm sort of like a throwback to the 60s because I started doing this when I was very young and I don't think I ever grew up. I don't think I ever progressed out of motorcycling. I do use all the new modern technology, the best materials, the latest state-of-the-art stuff. I use a lot of stuff from the space program and I try to build these bikes the best I can. Um, but I just do, I don't care what other builders are doing, like these cookie cutter bikes and stuff. I really don't care about what anybody's doing about anything in my life. I do what I feel like doing, regardless of where the chips might fall. Whatever, you know, even if I do something and someone perceives it as negative, if I feel in my heart it's the right thing to do, I don't care what people think. I don't care how people perceive my bikes. If I like them and I love them, then uh, people can go to hell then. I mean, but I I'm really happy that people perceive these bikes and they like them. I like it when people look at the bikes and they smile and they're happy and they just start staring at them and they get hypnotized when they look at them. Uh, you know, I like that when people enjoy them as much as I do. Oh, the name Indian Larry came actually from the Indian motorcycle. I built a, a Chopped 50 Chief years ago and I had a lot of nicknames. You know, in the biker world, you get a nickname here, a nickname, and finally one lands on you in sticks. And luckily, uh, you know, Indian Larry stuck and it's a nickname I can live with. Some of the nicknames were not so uh, flattering, but. They came from the Indian motorcycle. 
I'm actually Belgium, I'm not Indian, but I do believe in American Indian uh, spiritual ideals, so it was a quite appropriate name. I think I said just pursue what you love to do. Uh, don't listen to anybody if you know it in your brain and in your heart. And it may take a long time like me, it might take 40 years, but eventually uh, it'll come out and you'll get there. And if you're gonna build these bikes and ride them, Try to ride safe and don't do what you see me doing on TV. Don't be stupid and crazy like I am. Just pursue your dreams. Time to get noticed with Media Design Shop. Web design management and hosting, logo designs, marketing material, social media presence, video production, consulting, ad creations, and more. Time to get noticed. Media Design Shop. Call now for a free consultation.
promotional machine with TV, magazines, streaming, radio, and internet advertising opportunities. There are tens of thousands of motorcycles. We reach the people who ride them. Born to Ride. Find out more at borntoride.com. What do you think? Man, you got any Larry Sander bikes? Oh man, you did good work. I like your old style. What do you think about that? I love it. I love it. You just, you just won something. Oh, I I must have got my first tattoo maybe about uh, 25, 30 years ago maybe, and I just been sort of collecting ever since. You know, just a little bit here, a little bit there. Um, you know, got. Oh, I don't know. I have a lot of favorites. It's a spark plug because a spark plug controls my life. <laughs> yeah, um, well, it's a spark plug. And then, of course, the motorcycle. I have no club affiliation with the exception of the Coney Island Polar Bear Club, a cold, cold, uh, cold weather, cold water swimming club. Um, I don't know. Oh, and of course, Rat Fink, Ed Big Daddy Roth's Rat Fink because uh, Ed was a gigantic inspiration to my career. As a matter of fact, right over there is a tribute bike I did to Ed Big Daddy Roth. Uh, um, no club it means I'm independent. I don't ride with any clubs. I respect all the clubs, but uh, over the years, I just couldn't have anyone telling me what to do. Well, that, that as far as that win and cutting the trophy in half and me waiting for Billy and helping Billy, he would have did the same thing for me, and that's actually what you're supposed to do. I mean, that's what bikers are supposed to do. A lot of people lost their heritage. You see somebody broken down, help them. You don't leave somebody on the side of the freaking road. You know, you help them out. And cutting the trophy up, it's like, I, I don't feel there was any winners up there. We fixed the bike, we went for a ride, we got there, we partied, we had fun, and that's what it's all about. You know, build some bikes, have some fun, go for a ride, and, uh, you know, try to get through this whole thing together. Try to get through life together. You know, you know screw around and fight with each other. Okay, this is Indian Larry, and this about wraps it up for this episode of Born to Ride TV. And uh, maybe I'll see you guys again next time. Bye-bye.